All right, guys, how's it going? It is Thursday, the 16th of August, 2018, and you're watching Carpter.tv. All right. Now, before I get into the video, I want to tell you that this weekend I'm going to England because my son Rob is having an operation on Monday. All right. So I'm going over there to make sure he's all right and make sure they're looking after him and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying, guys? So it's very possible there'll be no videos from me next week. All right. You know, I won't take the piss. Um, no, but I've got to be there, you know what I'm saying? So, um, if you follow me on Twitter at Duncan Oldham, uh, I'll let you know how he's doing, all right? Um, <clears throat> like I said, and as soon as he's done, as soon as he's out, all right, I'm coming back, simple as straight away, straight back, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> so, you all right? Yeah, cool. All right, listen, I wanted to talk to you about uh, Nabil Fekir, you know that Fekir? Um, there's an article in Goal today. Um, uh, on the Goal website, and it says Chelsea opted against Fekir move as Pulisic interest remains. Right, this is by a guy called Nizar Kinsella. Okay, he's the Chelsea correspondent. Serious biz, guys. Serious biz. Talks about um, the Chelsea manager being keen to bolster his, you know, attacking options in future transfer windows, but chose chose not to sign a forward during his first summer in charge. Right. Goal understands they opted against signing the France international, Nabil Fekir, um, over the summer after keeping hold of a number of players in the same position. Talks about Liverpool's uh, you know, proposed transfer collapsing, his transfer to Liverpool, uh, proposed transfer to Liverpool collapsing. Talks about his stats and things like that. You know, uh, scored 23 goals and laid on a further eight assists in 40 appearances across all competitions last terms. Uh, and the Blues did attempt to negotiate with the Players Club regarding a move late in the window. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of waffle here about absolutely nothing. Um, Chelsea keen to, you know, uh, you know, strengthen their attacking options in the coming months. Talk about uh, Pulisic and all that. Um, it's a nothing article. It's a nothing article, really. Uh, and, I, and it said... Um, you know, basically, this is the bit that I picked up in the local media. It said it's been reported that Chelsea held talks with Leon over Nabil Fakir in the closing stages of the transfer window. Goal.com uh, reported that the Londoners opted against signing the World Cup winner after deciding they were, after deciding they were well stocked for attacking midfielders. I don't know. It's just to me, why would you go that far? Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, things can change, and you know, um, you know, maybe they, they were like, yeah, well, we don't need to do it now. I don't know. It just uh, it seems like a little. Um, I am convinced by it, guys, is what I'm trying to say to you. The Chelsea link, uh, or reported link, or the whole, you know, like, will he go to Chelsea thing in the last minute, at the, at the end of the last transfer window in the summer, um, it just seemed all very suspicious to me. Did it you? What do you think? I'm interested to know whether you thought Chelsea's interest was genuine. I just think that, you know, to have to, to all talk with him and that, you know, to all talk with a player, you know, 99% of the time you've got to have... You know, uh, a fee agreed in place. You know, with the with the club. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, all this stuff happens in the background. Yeah, without permission and that. When Liverpool would never do anything like that. Um, but you know, the suggestion is that Chelsea then actually spoke to him after. It's, I don't know. It's just it's just like it's a bit of a non-article to me. I don't really uh, see much in it. And the reason I mention it to you is that you know Liverpool wanted this boy it didn't go ahead we're now wondering whether it could go ahead in january very strange that we left him you know we've out in you know left him hung out to dry or whatever but if he's got an injury he's got an injury liverpool got to protect themselves from future exposure to that and leon obviously didn't want to uh, renegotiate and and they've been you know leon are now in a position where they're like fucking hell we might have to rethink this yeah uh, although they say they would like to keep him, which is probably true, but they were very keen to sell him, I think, in the summer. And Chelsea were obviously heavily linked with him right at the end, and a lot of people thought he would go there. And it says that Chelsea held talks with Leon, um, but the, you know they chose not to sign a forward uh, because of what was it? Because they already had enough and already. So then why did you go? For, I don't know. It just it just seems. The whole article is just full of, you know, um, let's, let's, uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just, I'm just, it's let's just left me feeling suspicious about it all. If you want to chime in on, uh, on what you think might happen with Nabil Fekir, then, then please do. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure about it, guys. I, I don't know. I think if there's any chance of it going ahead, you'd have thought it might have gone ahead in the summer. Um, but unless Leon, you know, back down and, and renegotiate or give Liverpool that protection over his knee, then, you know, that's why it didn't happen, in my opinion. I don't think Liverpool genuinely ended their interest. I think they said, this is a situation. This is what you need to do. We need to protect ourselves from possible exposure in the future. Now, when deals have collapsed previously, like in in uh, the summer window, they are often reignited in, and they proceed in, in January under better circumstances. So I don't know. Do you think we will go back in for him uh, in, in January? And do you think Chelsea's interest is actually genuine? I, I'm not convinced, guys. I'm not convinced. All right? Anyway, uh, I'll let you crack on. I'll speak to you in a bit. All right.